Good morning, my name is Anna Walford and I am a third grade teacher at Frederick Elementary. And today I wanted to bring you guys a little information about hair sheep. We have several different things going on on our farm and today I just wanted to explain a little bit about our hair sheep that we have. We have about 28 hair sheep. We have uh, the breed of these is a Dorper slash Katahdin cross. Uh, most of the ewes that are out here, the mamas, are Dorper, and the ram that we have is a Katahdin. He is a taller, he's right there in the center, he is a taller type hair sheep. Uh, they are more parasite resistant. Um, all hair sheep that we have encountered are amazing for their meat quality, also for the parasite resistance because they are eating right off the ground so that is where the worms are located and so if they can resist any type of worms or parasites that's an amazing thing for us uh, the reason we have these hair sheep we partner them with our cattle our cattle like this nice green grass but our hair sheep they tend to like the weeds they tend to like the brush they like the things that the cows won't eat so if we partner them together we notice that what happens our grass grows a lot better and I'm feeding two animals at the same time and it works out for us uh, the hair sheep themselves if you notice they do have a little bit of wool on them most of them have hair like what's on top of your head so if they do produce a little bit of wool which helps them during the winter time stay warm that also falls out the wool will fall out uh, come I'm guessing about May or June and once it does fall out, uh, then they have this nice sleek hair that keeps them nice and cool during the summertime. Um, that is another reason we chose to use hair sheep because we don't have to deal with cutting and trimming the wool off of the sheep. Uh, these girls are doing amazing here on our farm and helping our cattle along with us. And they're amazing for their meat. They're amazing for their good mothers. Uh, naturally good moms normally they'll have twins uh, most of ours have had twins we have some that have had triplets uh, I'm sure quadruplets had come about but we haven't had that pleasure we also um, had one that only had one single baby there's a little black baby out there in the center right now and when he was born he weighed 17 pounds uh, which is pretty amazing but I just thought I'd give you guys a little insight about uh, the hair sheep it actually came from a different, in the 1950s, from uh, the Caribbean area, and it was imported here, and they started crossbreeding them until they found this type of hair sheep they have now. We enjoy what we have here, and they're naturally good, and they're pretty easy to work with. So there's a little bit of insight for you about hair sheep, and I hope this video gives you guys a little a little up close and personal things about hair sheet today. Again, thank you for joining me and I hope to be talking to you soon.